I'm Monkey Robo 117, and today I'm going to be showing you how to port Left 4 Dead 2 characters into Left 4 Dead 2. And by that I mean getting an originally made mod or add-on character skin and making it work for another specific survivor. So for today I'm going to change the Nick mod into an Ellis mod. And it does not require any 3D modeling programs whatsoever. All you got to do is change some code, switch some files around, rename some files, and you should be good. Unfortunately, my laptop is really loud, so that noise you hear is my laptop. Since I'm using an internal mic, it's going to be loud, and you're probably not going to be able to hear me as good as if I had a mic on my head. But uh, I should also say that I do not know how to do facial animations. So all the code I'm showing you today does not work with facial animations that I know of. Though I'm sure if you add in a few more lines somewhere, it could get it to work. I'm no code expert. I'll show you how I learned how to do it. First off, you're going to need to download some programs. And you have to download a word editing program. When the program's called Notepad++. And we're going to have to get the code compiler program. It's called Crowbar. You can find these in the links that are provided in the description, but I'm going to show you what the websites look like and where to download from. So I have them preloaded on Google Chrome. Here you can find Notepad++ and here you can find Crowbar. Just hit the download latest release right here and it'll take you to this page. And it's not going to show a picture or anything. It's going to say error. It just can't load up a picture, but the file doesn't have a picture. So you just go download. Bam, you're good. And then for download Notepad++, you just got to push download the latest version. And it's going to go, your program is now downloading. And it's going to load up. You can download them. Then install them. And you should be good to go on those programs. They're both free. You don't, there's no hassle, no illegal things, anything. Just remember, whenever you're using the internet, be careful what you download. And always check and make sure you're downloading the right program. And not downloading third-party programs that could contain viruses and whatnot. But Norton, the security program I use, has checked profiles and they say that's good. So remember, just be safe when you're on the internet and download this stuff. After you've downloaded all the programs and have installed them properly, you'll see them on here. See, this is my crowbar icon and this is my notepad icon. You're going to need to download the add-ons that we'll be using as to, uh, to port and the Nick add-on onto the Ellis add-on. So if you go to Steam, you go to the Left 4 Dead 2 workshop, you search Hellgas, you should get a couple of my add-ons that I've already made before. So I want you to select mm, this one right here, Hellgas Ice Trooper. Morales, of course. Subscribe to him, and then we're going to need to look for the Nick add-on. So just type in uh, Gordon Freeman. And then type or not type, click on uh, Nick right here. Subscribe, so it will download to your add-ons folder, and then we'll fish it out. So once you got all that down, make sure you run Left 4 Dead 2, so it will download to your add-on folder. And once it's down downloading, go ahead and exit out of it. And once you're exited out of it, just go ahead to your add-on folder, which should be located in your uh, program files. But I'll just do a quick little how to get to it. Local disk, program files 86. Then you want to hit uh, S to get to Steam. Steam's right there. Hit S again to get to Steam apps. Click that one. Click on common. Go ahead and hit L for Left 4 Dead. Click on Left 4 Dead 2. Click on Left 4 Dead 2 again. Click on add ons. Go ahead and click on workshop. And my files should be uh, 33519230. And three nine four one two five nine nine three. Just double click, not double click, double check. Go ahead and click on these icons. They'll show up a little add-on image that you see on the Steam Workshop. See that one's my Hellgas Trooper, and then this one should be my Gordon Freeman. It is my Gordon Freeman. So go ahead and hit this one, and copy that one. Go ahead and paste it somewhere on here. And then hit this one that matches the numbers. Copy, paste it, and then name this one Ice Ellis. 
for the Ice Trooper and replaces I was named this one uh, Freeman and Nick since it replaces Nick with Gordon Freeman alright after you have copied the two add-on folders or not folder VPKs onto your desktop go ahead and open up your workshop add-on folder again we need to get the VBK unpacker and packer so backtrack to left 4 dead 2 hit Ben push V and you go down a bit and find VBK right click it create a shortcut drag the shortcut on your desktop so whenever you drag these bad boys onto the VBK shortcut it will create a folder that matches the name it has all of the stuff that makes that VBK a VBK do that for both of them and go ahead and minimize this double click Ice Ellis double click Freeman Nick since we're going to be moving the Nick stuff onto the Ellis stuff we're going to have Nick over here and Ellis over here notice that it has materials models and add-on info so add-on info you know has your info on the add-on of course this is affected if you upload the steam which let me remind you if you didn't make the add-on and you upload the steam make sure you give credit to where it's due and uh... yeah you got the materials right here you got the VGUIs where this is what your you know little icons look like on in-game alright the next step we're gonna do is open up the MDL files and in order to do that you have to use the crowbar program that we downloaded earlier so I need to go back to Freeman Nick go to models go to survivors Sign Survivor Gambler MDL. Gambler as a Nick. So go ahead and open up Crowbar and then drag MDL Survivor Grip right here. And it will say, okay, we can decompile it. What do you want to name it? This is the folder that it will be in. So I put decompiled Nick so I can you know be organized. Hit the button. It's decomp decompiling. See it's finished, minimize it, and bam, there's a new folder. Do the same thing for Alice over here. Survivors. So I have a mechanic MDL. Nope, wrong program. Right here. Drop it off. Hit this button. And name it Ellis instead. Decompile. Watch as it decompiles. Finishes. Minimize. And then I want you to hit download. I mean not download. Decompile Nick. All right. Now I want you to grab your QC files that you can find right here in decompile Nick and decompile Ellis. I want you to drag them onto your notepad plus plus. So first we're gonna move Gambler, since that's what we're gonna mostly copy from, and move on to the new one, Mechanic, and we'll put the Mechanic one as second. Now you're gonna to want to replace these lines right here. And I have these lines with a pre one I've done before that I've used on all my other add-ons. This line. I will include these words in the description on the YouTube video. So go ahead and just copy that from the YouTube description video and then come over here to mechanic move all this I mean highlight it control V and now you get a new set of lines that you just paste it there and of course the names will not line up but that's why you have this one over here so you can get the right names so you just control C replace that name right there this is the name of the actual folder my folder file you will be moving over to the Ellis folder hit mechanic push it again control V paste over it and then I want you to find CD materials right here. Copy, because that's the actual material folder where they get the textures from. KZ, push control V, replaces it, and bam, you have your thing. This is these two little hash marks mean it, the code will ignore that line when compiling. So you can just leave those be, or if you, know, you want to delete them, go ahead. Just bam, delete. And I want you to look down, keep looking down and right here sequence do the same thing over here on gambler Let's go down until you find sequence which happens to be the wrong name for some reason and uh... so copy that and do gordon freeman like that control c move over here rename that gordon freeman and then i want you to change the con, just like over here, kill zone, and put Gordon Freeman, SMD. That was really confusing. I lied. I want you to push C over here, and then I want you to come down to where this is, 
hit that. So we want it to be named Gordon Freeman, but it wants to look for the file Survivor Gambler Reference, which we will provide it with. Ragdoll, Ragdoll, everything else checks out. This part is good, so go ahead and push save. It will overwrite this Survivor mechanic. So, see this one? That's the Killzone actual 3D model. And over here, this one's the uh, Gordon Freeman 3D model. So you would want to copy this one over here. So now this one's over here. And now you want to copy it again and open up Mechanic Ams for animations. Delete Killzone SMB and put in Survivor Gamble Reference. And once you have that all checked out, go ahead and go to your crowbar function thingamajigger and drag Survivor Mechanic QC over here, compile QC file. It's compiling. And in the meantime, I will just move over to Survivors, to, yeah, just Survivors right here. Because we're going to replace these four things that Left 4 Dead 2 reads to put in the model and prime the materials. Now. So once it's all done, checked out, and you have no errors, go to Go to Compiled Model File. It will take you to the place where they keep all the new, new, newly made compiled files. Find the one you want to replace, which are four files named Mechanic. Control C, Control V over here on the Ellis folder, and it will replace those. So now, when you load up the game, it will show the 3D model of the Gordon Freeman. But since we haven't replaced the materials yet, it will be, you know, black and uh, purple checkered tile thing and missing textures. So go ahead and go to models, go to weapons, because we're gonna need to do the same thing with weapons to get the oh the first arm, first person arms. So you want to do the same thing with Crowbar, decompile the MDL, so let's just name the same thing else, it will decompile it, and I want you to go over to Nick again, and do the same thing over in the weapons folder, arms folder, and decompile the gambler or uh, new first person arms. Decompile, I forgot to rename it, so we're just going to rename it when it's up here. So instead of decompiled Ellis, we'll just you know type in Nick since I forgot to rename it. Decompile Nick, click on it, and you have your new QC. Same thing over here. I didn't name it. Same thing over here. New QC. So I want you to move Gambler over since I we're going to be copying from, and move over Mechanics new QC. Now see how it says Gordon Freeman Arms, and then this one says KZ Arms. This one's simple. Just highlight that. Highlight this. Push V and uh, change that one below it too because that's the actual file they use to read it B change that materials folder the Gordon Freeman as well and you should be good from here on out so push that and I'll save this one too survivor oh, no, not the gambler one but this one you know what I mean alright minimize this Make sure you copy over Gambler New Reference because that's the Morgan, not Morgan Freeman, Gordon Freeman. <laughs> that's funny, the name's kind of. Oh, but ignore it. But uh, go ahead and, you know, go over to Arms, go to Weapons because we have new files and we want to compile Mechanic News QC. So go back to Crowbar, put it in, compile QC file. We'll go to the compiled model file again, again, my bad. And I want you to go to arms, drag and drop these suckers. Uh, yes, replace these guys. These are your new folders, I mean files. Go ahead and go to Ice Ellis Materials. Same thing for Nick. I want you to go to materials as well. Click, click on models, click on survivors, Gordon Freeman. On Ellis, click here, click there. Find Killzone. Delete Killzone. Because no one likes that one. Okay, I like Killzone, but you know, that specific folder. Copy Gordon Freeman and place it over here into the survivors for Ellis. Go ahead and backtrack to materials. Find VGUI. These are the icon profile pictures as I explained. So we want to change these to the Gordon Freeman one. So go ahead and go to materials over here as well. VGUI. Copy these over here. And take these and move them over here for, re for reference so you know what to name these guys. Since these will be replacing Nyx, we want them to replace Ellis. So we will find the matching one over here, rename it, copy the name, 
come over here, rename it, paste, enter, and now that one's going to be read as Ellis's profile picture. So now we want to find an in-cap, same thing, replace, and then find uh, S panel, no, S panel lobby gambler, so right here, nope, nope, no. S panel lobby mechanic. Copy the name, come over here, paste it as the name. Well, bam, now it will be read as the mechanics lobby picture, the S panel picture, and the in cap picture, which is way on the ground. Go back to materials, go back to Ice Ellis, add on info, go ahead and, you know, change, you know, forget that, just exit out of that one. Go over here to Freeman, copy the add on folder, paste it over here, overwrite that sucker, click on this one, change Nick to Ellis and change this nick to Ellis and change this nick to Ellis and save and uh, Gordon Freeman, yep, 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 everything checks out click on that button go ahead and exit out of this one uh, minimize this one um, find this one, move it down here find the ice Ellis folder copy, paste it so you get a new folder which you can delete the decompile stuff or keep the stuff that Left 4 Dead 2 reads. So I would name this one Ice Ellis. Uh, not Ice Ellis. Change Ice to Freeman Ellis. And then double click it. I want you to go to materials. No, there's nothing really we need to delete in here. So we're good on that one, so we gotta just go to models. Click on models, go to survivors, find decompiled else, delete that folder, because we want the file to be as small as possible. Go to arms, decompiled else, delete that one as well. And we should be good to go. Go ahead and exit, find your Freeman Ellis, and put it in the VBK, and it will make it into a VBK. Go ahead and, you know, I do this because I like to make them look capitalized and make it look professional. So I just named it Freeman Ellis. Voila. Find your bin folder that you were at. Find Left 4 Dead 2. Find Left 4 Dead 2 again. Go to add-ons. Workshop. Ignore workshop. Go to add-ons. And drop Freeman Ellis here. Whoa. That's a big difference. Freeman Ellis. Right here. And then go ahead and run Left 4 Dead 2 and test it out. It should have worked. I will post my results as screenshots because I can't record in-game for some reason using my laptop. So as you can tell from the screenshot, it worked for me. But if it didn't work for you, go ahead and leave some comments. And I'll try my best to try to help you. But you know, sometimes things just don't work enough. So, uh, goodbye and good luck.